And here we have it. Another one bites the dust. Another one exposed. Bro, at this point, the entire industry of men, fruit cups, straight booty handlers, it's actually getting wild. We have Neo getting exposed by his own baby mother on film. Talking about how he's a booty muncher and shit like that. Talking about he... She went as far as calling him Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr.? I'm not gonna lie. If you get called Diddy Jr., that's a major insult. Like, that's that's straight disrespect. I'm just, yo, they both wildin'. Neil's wildin' for all the freak-off parties that he was partaking in, and the baby mama wildin' for even calling him Diddy Jr. Because that's almost worth it. Bro, that, that's a... Yeah, nah. That one will definitely hit the heart, man. And he's over here just trying to play video games, bro. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, especially so I... Because I know this is not the first video that you're watching of mine. So hit that subscribe button, man. Let's get straight into this. See what's going on. The freak off. How we get there? Tell him about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Uh -oh. Diddy Jr., tell him about the freak off. He's doing drugs, drinking alcohol, and so it looks like the rumors about Neo being DL Sheesh. is true after all, because his baby mama Sade just put him on blast and exposed him for attending Diddy's freak off parties. Sade spilled this tea while going off on Neo for putting his hands on her and being a dead father. Sade claims Neo has been secretly getting his cheeks clapped at these parties and that he sometimes organizes these freak off parties at his house while the kids are around. Apparently, the only reason why Neo is showing off his multiple girlfriends is because he don't want nobody to suspect him. Bro, of Neo, being. what happened to Miss Independent? That's why I love her. 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 Now it's him. What's going on? Gay. Not only has he been sleeping with these men, but word on the street is he's clapped Diddy's cheeks a bunch of times. Hey, and the evidence is on tape. Now, for those of y'all who didn't know, Neo and Sade have had a very bitter relationship after him asking her for a paternity test to prove that their son was really his. Mind you, Neo and Sade already have two kids together. But for some reason, he decided to draw the line on the third child and ask for a paternity test. As you can already imagine, Sade did not take this very well because she felt like Neo was trying to insult her and she clapped back by countersuing him. In her lawsuit, she asked the court to give her primary custody of all the kids and refused to do the paternity test Neo was looking for. She also agreed to share joint custody with Neo since that was something he actually asked the court I'm to not grant gonna lie, him. Bro, After Sade looked like she was running the guy his pockets though for her. You could just tell. All this mess, they both went quiet for a while and for a month moment, people really thought he and Sade had quietly resolved their issues. That was until a few days ago, when Sade went on an explosive rant on IG Live with Neo literally in the live to expose him for being a regular participant at Diddy's freak off parties. Not only that, but she went as far as to call him Diddy Jr., claiming that he had Damn. these freak offs at they house with both men and women while the kids are home. Sade said these parties would usually be filled with loads of substances. You know, similar to that pink cr that Diddy would have at his own freak off parties to get people all horny and high. What make it even worse about Neo's parties is that he will host these parties with the kids at the house. These poor kids literally witnessed everything. In the video, oh. he looked real faded and out of touch with reality. Almost like somebody who's been partying the whole night and sniffing a whole load of would probably act. His hair was all shaved off, he looked miserable, and a man could barely get out a word to defend himself. I'ma just leave the video here for y'all to watch by yourself because it's truly disturbing. Tell him, tell him the real you. Tell him the real you and why we're here today over the house while his kids is here. Why this nigga likes to have drugs and, and alcohol, mushrooms, and prostitutes in the house while his kids are here everyone has asked him to stop but he will not listen to nobody this is what's going on this is the tea while the is in the house i asked him not to bring no in the house i even came over here to help him with these kids because he won't want to he won't watch these kids it was since we on live let's go there let's start let's start with the freak off how we get there damn Tell them about the freak, freak off, off. Junior. 
Diddy Jr., tell him about the freak off. Tell him about the fucking freak off. Tell them the <laughs> truth. Tell these people the truth. Oh, shut the fuck up. You don't give a fuck about none of these kids. Do y'all see a fucking picture in this house of a fucking kid? He don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing drugs, drinking alcohol, and fucking these hoes. That's what you care about. So let's go. I'm a diddy bop the fuck up out of here. You and your freak off. You can get back to your freak off in a minute. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. Your stories will be coming out next. You know what the fuck going on. You know how how was Braden conceived? Let's let's start there. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but this is very disturbing to see. Wait, it's who who'd she say? Brandon? Who, who the hell is Brandon? You know how how was Braden conceived? Coming out of Let's, let's start there. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but this is very disturbing to see, especially since he specifically asked the court to grant him custody of his kids, only for him to bring them to his house and expose them to these freak offs. Shade oh, literally off. has nothing to gain by saying all this, but Neo definitely has a lot to lose when people start digging and pulling up even more receipts about his freak off sessions with Diddy. The only reason Shade even felt the need to expose all this disturbing disturbing info about him is because he's consistently made it a point to not care about his kids and expose them to the things that they have no business seeing at their age. Oh, but that wasn't it, y'all. She went on to reveal that these freak off parties that Neo hosts in his house actually happen every single day, not just a couple times a week, every single day. She even went as far Ain't as no telling way. him to go and come out the closet and live his truth instead of making it. All, right, all right, come on. That was obviously cap because the day that she was doing Doing the whole entire Instagram live, he was on no freak off. Everybody think he's a good father when he's actually a dead getting his cheeks clapped in front of his kids. Hey, yeah. yo. So he could come here and have a freak off. That's what the fuck you do every night. You're a weirdo. You got a 13 year old girl upstairs, but you running around here with holding their hand and you don't even hold your kids hand hold your kids hand oh my god Schaefer please stop please Schaefer please bro oh my god you gotta tell the truth just tell these people the truth Damn. about who you are living your truth just living your truth bro oh my god bro man the whole industry is definitely weird as man weird as the shit that I be witnessing is just insane really you really you you hurt yourself every day i'm just doing shit, do shit. this ain't gonna do shit for me wish you would tell the story about the freak off but you want to play game come here at nine o'clock he's screaming kid go to sleep go to sleep so he can have these just come over drink smoke weed do drink and f f out of here just watch your kids you do that shit every day when you're not here every day when you're not here and in case you were wondering where neo gets all his stamina from to have Wait, she wasn't even making sense. She said you do that every day when you're not here. Here. Just watch your kids. You do that sh every day when you're not here. Every day when you're not here. And in case you were wondering where Neo gets all his stamina from to have these freak out parties every single day, well, here's an answer. If y'all remember, Young Miami was exposed not too long ago for supplying Diddy with pink for his freak off parties. Now at the time, most people didn't even know what pink was until thankfully Jaguar Rice spilled the tea about it. The pink is basically a combination of multiple drugs, including Viagra, ecstasy, and any other substance you can think of. The combination allows them to have a ridiculous amount of energy all night so they can last through these freak off sessions. And if y'all remember, <laughs> oh, Sade nah. explicitly said that Neo would usually bring a lot of to these parties that he organizes at his crib. Well, word on the street is the in question that Neo has been bringing to these parties is pink. Uh, pink and Young Miami has to bring across. That's Wait, the two, the, the two C. Yeah, the two C. That's what they got. No, I found out. I talked to my guy because I wanted to be informed because people was calling the two C. That's calling it the two C. I didn't know which one it was, so I talked to my. I don't know. I think Jaguar would be on that. You see, too. I was talking to my drug guy, not because I wanted to. I just wanted to be informed about what was going on. Y'all think, y'all think Jaggy be popping the Tusi? My guy and my guy filled me in, and then it made perfect sense. Tusi. Talk to him. With Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk. Just... Education. <laughs> one on one. So Tusi 
is the coke, but they take the cat and cook it up and they, they fold it into the cup. Now, if you don't know what cat is, cat is what they call on the street special cat. It's a veterinary, it's a horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain that you will always find on hand. Viagra, XD, Special K, and Coke. Now see, the keep you up all night, but unfortunately it gives you limp noodle because of what the blood flow is. So the, who wants to fuck with a half hard all night? So that's why you have the Viagra to make sure that the, the involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing your fucking self with the coke. Now see, the ketamine, that's a horse tranquilizer. So that relaxes all your muscles. Hey, yo. You could get by 80 fucking um, ton gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now- Nah. They over there getting loosey goosey. It's gonna stay hard. You numbed up and you high. You got the ketamine in you so you don't feel shit. And then you add the, the ecstasy to put- Bro, that's why, that's why Frank Ocean be like, Nova King, baby. He, he said something like, I can't feel my face. Yeah, he can't feel that. Oh, my man, forget it. I'm not gonna say it. In the feeling that you've now blocked out, and now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. So now, the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. So you got the in there, and then you got the ketamine in there, and they say that some of the dealers add the F in there. Now the Viagra, they st you still got to take that solo. Mm. But th with the tipsy, you got all of that. Within. The gay cocktail. Oh. Cocktail oh. in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the Breaking Bad. You remember yeah, how they was making them? The, yeah, and they just... made it a special color. So they done that with the tipsy. Wow. It, it's the food coloring. You think that like, As what? if you need more. When did high not get high enough? Like, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, to the point where you have to fly it across, like, I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like, no. I need that here. You got three drugs. <laughs> Powerful drugs. And food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that, that Viagra. You a fucking machine. You anything. The brick wall wouldn't even feel it. And as if that ain't messy yeah. enough, people believe the reason why Neo is currently in a polygamous relationship and always showing us his multiple girlfriends is because he trying to prove just how masculine he is. So folks don't suspect him of being DL. Apparently, he's trying his hardest to make people believe he's a straight man, even though he's straight clapping Diddy in them expensive VIP rooms. What's even crazier is that this ain't the first time Neo has been accused of being addicted to to freak offs. His ex girlfriend, Mayetta, who he dated from 2009 to 2013, actually revealed the reason why they broke up was because Neo had a raging addiction for intimate group sessions, aka freak offs, and she just wasn't able to keep up with that. And get this, y'all, just like Sade, Mayetta also said Neo would ask for these freak offs every single day. She said she thought the freak offs would only happen a couple times a year, but he literally wanted to do it every day. And that's when she knew she had to clock out of that relationship and run for the hills. We cheated together, if that makes sense. We did things together. It's not cheating if you're involved with it. And then it just wasn't enough for him. I was like, well, no, I didn't sign up to do this every day. It became a problem when he wanted that a lot, she said. I was like, if you want that, then you don't want me. I tried to keep it cute and spicy, but it wasn't enough. But it is what it is. This whole situation is a mess, y'all. And if what Sade is actually saying about Neo is really true, then the police need to start looking into him as well. Aside from him having these freak off parties, he also thinks it's okay to host them at the same time with his kids in the house. He's obviously out of his mind and sees nothing wrong with it. One person reacted to all this by saying, remember when Manietta was heartbroken about they split? Ladies, let this be a lesson. Sometimes the unanswered prayer is the blessing. He's someone else's problem now. Another person said, having not one, but two kids by a married man, then doing this in front of the kids is backwards. 
Girl, if you don't like the environment the kids are in, take the kids and go. This isn't to say Neo is innocent, but if he's so wrong, what's the purpose of just staying there and keeping the kids there while you them about it. Just leave. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about Neo clapping Diddy and having- Hey yo, Neo's a fruit cup just like Diddy. I'm not gonna lie. His baby mama called him Diddy Jr. So I'm gonna just say the same thing. This nigga is Diddy Jr. But at the end of the day, if, if any dude is attending these Diddy freak off parties, they're most likely getting crazy. Like, man oh man, like everything goes, everything flows. It is what it is, man. But comment down below your thoughts about this entire situation right here. And make sure you do hit that subscribe button and like the video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. The same way you're going to catch me in the next one.